All right, hello. So I um, wanted to walk you through this new project I'm working on. Uh, we're calling this project Bender. And what this is, is this is an automatic uh, bartender. So this is made for a friend's wedding reception. And the idea is um, you go up to it, you push a big red button, which is not shown right now, but it'll be probably placed on the table around here. Um, and it asks you to record a 30 second congratulations video for the couple. Um, after you've recorded it, it gives you an option of mixed drinks and asks you to place your cup in this little cup holder. Uh, after you've confirmed the air cup is there, it will rotate from station to station and pour exact amounts of liquid uh, for that mixed drink before serving it to you. Um, so um, this is the project. Uh, this is the mechanical drawing of the project. Um, this was all done in SolidWorks. Um, at its current state, it's about 20 inches wide by 20 inches length and about 30 inches tall. So what I'd like to do is walk you through each of the layers. As you can see, it's a layered design and um, go through sort of some design thoughts, design process, and what each of the layers uh, is there for. So I'm going to turn off the walls and we'll start with the top. So the top two layers are really bottle holder layers. So each of these bottles um, will have a hole cut up in the top, so this means that we can pour liquid into the top to refill each of the bottles. Um, each of the bottles weighs about two pounds when filled, so we have added support from each of the layers below it, and they're also supported along the walls of along the outer walls. Um, so the top two layers again are really just bottle holders. So moving on to the next layer, this third layer from the top. This is our, there's nothing really here, so what we plan on doing is we plan on putting electronics here. So we plan on putting like our Arduino here, which is what's controlling the valves, controlling the motors, controlling the uh, LEDs, and it's control—it's also getting feedback from a few sensors we have. Um, so this system is a gravity feed system, which is why we have holes cut out in the top of the bottles. So the idea is we have air return from the holes cut out in the top, liquid pours down through the bottle, through these val through these um yeah through these through these nozzles into uh, some hosing that goes into our valves. These valves are gravity feed valves, and those pour into your cup. So um, you know, I, again, I was saying that this layer was the electronics layer. Uh, we have these standoffs for extra support, and then we have these holes for the uh, tubing. The next layer is the valve layer. Um, each of these are uh, gravity feed valves, so they don't require an external pump or anything like that. Um, we have uh, holders for each of the valves, and we on this layer we plan on housing even more electronics. We'll be housing, uh, we have a valve electronics board and an LED electronics board. Actually, they're both the same board, but uh, that's what they control. And so actually, if you'll notice, each of these standoffs has two holes. These holes are actually for LEDs. So the idea is that as your motor is swinging from station to station, we'd light it up along the way, kind of giving it a little show. And maybe as it's pouring, we could pulsate the lights uh, at whatever station you're at. Um, so another thing I want to point out is notice that one thing we're trying to shoot for is to not use any glue. And the way we achieve that is by using these T cross sections, these nuts and bolts, uh, Basically, this is a, this is my substitute for glue. So the idea is we have this puzzle piece coming in, and then we screw it on one end into a holder for a square nut, and this is sufficient enough to keep the two pieces locked and tight together. Okay, so moving on, um, this is our tablet holder. So this this holder actually attaches directly to the front wall, which I've made invisible. Uh, this is actually the only assembly in this entire thing that uh, is using glue, and the reason is I didn't want to use, uh, you know, screws and nuts uh, near like a tablet screen or tablet backing for fear of scratching them. So the uh, so we're going to use glue on uh, most of this guy, except for the part that actually attaches to the to the wall. Um, the backing of this tablet holder has a hole for USB, which will connect to our Arduino. And then I also kept one side of it open so that you could slide the tablet in, in and out of the uh, holder. Uh, lastly is this uh, motor holder, or I'm sorry, this motor layer. So the motor layer consists of a motor on the bottom. This is a 12 volt, 15 RPM motor, and we'll probably end up slowing it down even more than that using a PWM. And so this guy feeds into um, 
our cup holder. Uh, we have this big ring here to basically prevent, if, if there was any spilling or any leakage from the valves, we're basically going to put a big duct here that uh, feeds it into like a bucket or outside into a, something else basically. So this is to help keep spillage uh, contained. So this, uh, the cup will be held by this cup holder. Um, there are two uh, ball bearing little caster wheels that sit over here and over here towards the back and towards the front to help support the weight of the cup. And then the other thing I've done is I've put this sort of puzzle piece along the top of the cup holder so that after we sort of find out what dimensions of cup we might have or if we decide we need to change something, we can add um, whatever kind of gripper for the cup we want here. Uh, each of these guys is also supported by their own standoff and there are more electronics on this layer as well. We have another, uh, our third board, which is a um, motor controller. And the other thing that it controls is these, or it gets feedback from is Hall effect sensors. So what we're gonna do to determine which section you're at is we're going to put a magnet, a pretty strong magnet on the side of, or on the front of this um, cup holder. And as it's swinging around from station to station, we're going to have Hall effect sensors uh, littered at, or placed at each of the eight uh, stations. So as soon as the Hall effect trigger get, as soon as the Hall effect sensor gets triggered, we'll know which station we're at. So uh, that is pretty much the design, the uh, the uh, mechanical design for this project. Um, everything so far is based on either MDF or acrylic, you know. But I'm thinking that some of these things, especially with the MDF holding down this, the weight of uh, you know, 16 pounds, maybe it might be a bit too much. So I might switch that over to acrylic or even a stronger wood, but um, we'll see after we play with MDF. So thanks for watching and.